morning, everyone. For those of you that may not know, I'm going to fight Delco here in Oakboro. And uh, and I would like to welcome you to the opening of the Peter J. Biondi Bypass for Route 206. I thank you all very much for being here today uh, for this much anticipated uh, event here in Hillsboro. As we open this vital uh, roadway here in Hillsboro, which has been named in the memory of the late assemblyman Peter J. Biondi. I think the, uh, the importance of this opening and this naming uh, is clearly evidenced by the uh, importance of the, of the guests that we have with us here today. And uh, I'd like to just quickly introduce uh, a few of the, uh, the very special guests that we have here today. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Governor Chris Christie. <laughs> Congressman Leonard Lance. We have our three state legislators uh, who are responsible for sponsoring the bill that named this roadway after the late Assemblyman Biondi. Uh, Senator Kip Bateman. <laughs> Hillsborough's own Assemblyman Jack Cittarelli. <laughs> and Assemblywoman Donna Simon. We also have the Commissioner of the New Jersey Department of Transportation, Jim Simpson. In addition, uh, we have uh, a number of our county freeholders here, members of our township committee, and a number of other uh, elected officials, guests, family and friends from throughout, from throughout the region uh, who are here to celebrate not only the opening of this roadway, uh, but it's uh, very important naming. I'd also like to introduce Mrs. Joan Biondi and family for joining us today. The late Assemblyman Peter J. Biondi was a pillar in our society and our community for over 35 years. As a result of his dedicated years of service to Hillsboro and, uh, and the region as Township Committeeman, Mayor, Freeholder, Assemblyman. He's often referred to as Mr. Hillsborough. During his entire life in public service, he remained committed to the betterment of Hillsborough, and this was one of the projects that uh, he always wanted to see to fruition. His dedication was tireless and unwavering, and it's only appropriate that we memorialize his legacy by dedicating this roadway and renaming it in his honor. In addition to the importance that this roadway had to Assemblyman Biondi, it also is very, very important to the vital uh, economic development of Hillsboro and the surrounding community. Not only will this bypass lessen the congestion and the traffic along the existing Route 206, but more importantly, it provides a, a pathway for Hillsboro to start the town center that has been been envisioned in our master plan for many years. This is the first step of many that will ultimately get us to town center on the existing Route 206. I'd like to thank the Christie administration, the Department of Transportation, our legislators, my colleagues on the Township Committee, and our local Township employees for their diligence in making this vision a reality. At this time, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce our Senator, Kip Bates. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning to everyone. Uh, let me first thank you, Governor, for, for coming here today, honoring us with your presence. And as we approach the eve of the one-year anniversary of Superstorm Sandy, Governor, let me thank you for your leadership and all you've done for this great city. Thank you. This is indeed a special day, and it's great to see Joan Biondi and the members of the Biondi family here, because Jack and Don and I thought, what a great tribute to Pete, if we could, if we could name the bypass after Pete. 
Pete was, I sat next to him for 10 years in the assembly, and let me tell you, you, you wouldn't meet a better, more dedicated legislator than Pete Biondi. And this, I gotta be honest with you, this project was put on the shelf a couple times, and it was Pete's leadership and his advocacy that took it back off the shelf to make it a reality. So it's a great tribute, it's a great honor to the Biondi family, and uh, we miss Pete dearly in Trenton, and we could certainly use him right now. But uh, as we drive this bypass, and it's gonna certainly help with the congestion on 206, we should think and remember the, the, the legacy of Pete, his dedication to public service, and as the mayor said, no question, he was Mr. Hillsborough. So it's a great honor to be here today with everyone here in, in, in recognition of Peter's legacy. So thank you very much. It's my privilege also to uh, introduce uh, the DOT commissioner, uh, Commissioner Simpson. Let me tell you, he, like the governor, during the, the Superstorm Sandy was incredible. Um, the, the hours he put in day in and day out to help the residents of New Jersey were second to none. So, Commissioner, thank you for coming. Uh, please welcome Commissioner Simpson. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you uh, Senator Bateman. Today, as you all know, we are opening the first piece of the Route 206 bypass. It is a project that the town and its representatives, like the late Assemblyman Peter Biondi, have been working with the department on for many, many years. This $44 million state-funded, $1.7 million center section, that's the center section alone is uh, $44 million, between Amlo Road and Hillsborough Road is the backbone of a larger project, which is almost four miles long. As you all know, the bypass will ease congestion, improve safety, and provide opportunity for Hillsborough to create its town center along the existing Route 206. There are two more pieces to construct under a future contract, one on the north end between Amwell Road and the intersection of Old Somerville Road and existing Route 206, and on the south end between Hillsborough Road and the intersection of Mountain View Road and existing Route 206. Once these end pieces are completed, the bypass will provide a seamless transition for traffic traveling through Hillsborough and give the township the opportunity to enhance the existing Route 206 into a Main Street-like business area. Although these pieces will be built under a future contract, things are moving along. The Christie administration knows the importance of this completed piece of bypass will play in providing a convenient alternative to residents and easing congestion on the 206 that we now have. That is why we are opening the roads today so it can provide benefits immediately. The next phase of this project will begin this November. Preliminary work will include utility relocation, which is a huge undertaking, clearing trees, grading, and drainage improvements on either side of the project, north of Amwell Road and south of Hillsborough Road. This work is expected to take approximately 18 months. The department anticipates construction of the north and south end roads to begin in the fall of 2016. Well, I'm sure you're happy to learn the next about the next phase of the project. I don't think that's why you came out here today. Something tells me you're here because it's truly my boss, the man who's uh, standing next to me. Uh, you will, he, he needs no introduction, but as uh, one of his cabinet members, I've only had two bosses in my life, oh, besides my wife, <laughs> the President of the United States and uh, Chris Christie, and it is a true honor to be with a man who I like to say when uh, Chris Christie became governor, Mother Nature changed parties and became a Democrat because it's been a heck of a four years with uh, natural events. Governor Christie. Well, good morning. Jim, thank you for the introduction. I appreciate it. Congressman Lance, thank you for being here. Um, I can tell you that while there is, as you know, all kinds of lunacy going on down in Washington, D.C., it is great for the people of this district to know that they have someone who represents all the best things that elected officials are supposed to be and is a voice of reason in Washington, D.C. We're lucky to have Congressman Lance there. Leonard, thank you. And the people of this legislative district are really fortunate to have the three people standing up here with me representing them. Um, Senator Bateman, and no, Senator, I'm not talking about that, Senator Bateman. Bob Glad is here today as well. But Senator Kip Bateman and, and our assembly folks um, who are up here and have worked so hard with me over the last four years to make things happen um, in Trenton. Uh, and so I want to thank them uh, for their hard work, and we are also very fortunate have them as part of our party and part of the state legislature. So Kip, Jack, and Donna, thank you very much. Um, we're here to open this center portion of the, of the bypass, and I'm glad that it's done. And more importantly, though, uh, we're here to honor 
uh, one of Hillsborough's great, great historic residents, Peter Biaggi. Uh, it's been uh, two years now since we lost Peter, and not only did his family lose a devoted husband and father and grandfather, but our state lost a great public servant who really was the epitome of why you want people to get into public life. Because they see a problem that they think they can help solve, and because they care about making their community and their state a better place. Resident of Hillsborough for 35 years, Peter served his community in some official capacity for 28 of the 35 years. Township committee, mayor, county freeholder, assemblyman, representing the 16th district. And during that time, as has been mentioned before, he championed this bypass. And when Pete was championing something, people could have not many better champions than somebody like Pete Biondi. He was persistent. And in my experience with him, he was not shy to make the ask. Um, so I know, I know that Pete's looking down on us today and is very proud. Very proud, of course, of his family. Also very proud that this project is done. And really, I would, I would absolutely assume that he's overwhelmed by the turnout today as well for people to be here to pay honor to his memory and his hard work. As public officials, it's our responsibility to be good stewards of your taxpayer dollars, and that's why we advance projects that will provide the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Completing this bypass will improve the quality of life, not only for residents of Hillsborough, but everyone in the region who uses this road to get from Somerville and points north to Princeton and destination south. Myself being one of them on a regular basis, I'm really looking forward um, to the <laughs> traffic relief. Because, as you know, in those parts of 206, even having lights and sirens doesn't help, everybody. You're stuck in the traffic, you're stuck in the traffic. Um, that's why we kept this in the capital plan, not to make my commute easier, although <laughs> not a bad thing. Um, that's why we continue to be committed to the project and why I'm happy that Jim laid out that schedule for all of you in terms of what we're doing. Um, let, me, let me just end with this on a, on a more personal note. And I don't know even if if Joan knows the story, but when, when I was campaigning for governor in 2009, I spent a, a good amount of time campaigning with Pete. Um, and I used to wear these cufflinks all the time that I had gotten from the Department of Justice, because for the seven years before I ran for governor, I was U.S. Attorney. And Pete used to mention the cufflinks to me all the time. And, and, and he would say, you know, you're not a Fed anymore. And I'm like, well, you know, Pete, um, I don't have any other job right now, so I'm going to keep wearing these cufflinks. And every time I was with Pete, he would mention these cufflinks. Even when I wasn't wearing them, he'd look and say, we're the Fed cufflinks. You know? So he talked about them all the time. And um, a week after the election, uh, I ran into Pete at an event. And he came up to me and he said, I have something for you. And he took me aside away from everybody. He went into his pocket and he pulled out a little box. And in the box, he said, here, open these. I opened them and it was a, it was a pair of New Jersey cufflinks with the seal of the state. And he said to me, you're ours now. Wear these. And so, so Joan, if, you, if anybody gets you a video of this and you look really carefully, um, when I put my left hand on the Bible and raised my right hand to take the oath of office as governor on the day of my inauguration, the cufflinks I was wearing were Pete Biondi's cufflinks. And I showed him that that day and said, Pete, I'm now officially one of yours. Thanks for, thanks for welcoming me to the club. Um, I love Pete. Um, he was a great guy. Um, he was a lot like most people in New Jersey. He was tough. He was strong. He was opinionated. He'd get cranky every once in a while, let you know what he was thinking. But he had a huge heart. And the things that he did as a public servant were always meant for the betterment of the people he represented and not for the aggrandizement of himself. And that's the kind of people we need in public life. So when Kip said earlier, we could use him in Trenton right now, we could. Um, but that's not unique to us. We could use them in Trenton, they could use them in Washington, they could use them in any state capital, any place in this country, because you need more people who are going to put the folks they represent first and their own personal interests second. So, um, Joan, if, um, if 
come and see us on election night. I guarantee you on election night, um, I'll be wearing those cufflinks as well. Um, I've never gotten another pair. I've never replaced them or supplemented them because I didn't feel like I needed to. And especially after Pete's passing, they became even more special and important to me. And so uh, on election night, um, you'll, you'll see me wearing the exact same cufflinks that I wore on the day I was sworn in. And they were the cufflinks that Pete gave me when he welcomed me to the club. Um, so um, I'm thrilled to be here today to open up, this, um, open up this bypass. But I'm even more happy to be here to honor you and your family and the memory of a guy who was very, very special uh, in a personal way to me. So, um, Joan, thanks for being here today. Thanks for keeping Pete's memory alive. And you can be guaranteed as people drive down this bypass, um, those who knew him will always remember the great service that he gave to the people of this town, the people of this county, and the people of the state of New Jersey. Thank you all. Oh, he's going to the bypass. There you go. 